road of course goes away. Have you heard Tex travelling the road tonight? Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel during the day. Why can't I just do the same? I shall return. thought to share myself. Is there any need to travel with so many sorcerers? We shall assail our foes with a plethora of magics. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I shall lead us to our destination, so do try not to rush ahead. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it, this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right. If to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. Pray let me go. Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. 
Oh, I suppose it was too much to hope for. It is all over for me now. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not. He'll receive his due soon enough. Till then, he'll be made comfortable in the dungeons. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Oxcart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the Lord does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawns' destination, perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid your majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion. It is an honor to see you again, Arisen. I have a pressing duty to which I must attend. Who are you? Come no closer! What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. Got to buy more drink. Good 
do with a proper meal. What was that? Get it. How fair my fine passengers this evening. Don't know why I'm asking. I suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are cruel They say you'll do whatever the arisen says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to boot. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea of what they do, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return, though. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Batal. <laughs> Did that scare you, baby, the mind? It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care, either. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed with it. so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place. Bolt, we're expecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. A ladder, is it? How convenient. We ought to put it to good use. Are you going to fight back? They may be undying, but they do seem ah, no. They're just hey. taking it. Where was I bound again? Bound to spend a ball. ball. <laughs> just like hitting a tree stump. Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with! Worth more than your wages combined! Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No? Well, get a move on! We're off!
on your knees, worthless vessels. Do we have a look around? Wait, you're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst! To arms! This strikes me as a place of import. We shall have occasion to return here. If there's nothing more we can do, ought we not to quit this place for now? No easy answers. Welcome. Welcome. You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcart's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The stuff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. It is most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. Settled. 